Chondrocytes are metabolically active cartilage cells responsible for the development, maintenance, and repair of the extracellular matrix that immediately surrounds them. Articular cartilage can be damaged for various reasons, ranging from daily wear and tear over time to an acute injury. Due to its avascular nature, damaged articular cartilage has low metabolic and limited intrinsic regenerative capacity and therefore will not heal on its own. Macy repairs knee cartilage using your patient's own cells. At Veracell's state-of-the-art facility, your patient's chondrocytes are freed from the extracellular matrix through enzymatic digestion. The chondrocytes are placed in a monolayer culture dish for expansion. Here, they proliferate rapidly. The cells are uniformly seeded onto the porous surface of the bioresorbable type 1 and 3 collagen membrane, where they attach to the collagen fibers. This is done using a process that provides assurance that cells uniformly settle onto the membrane. To provide additional assurance, the chondrocytes are tested on every implant using proprietary VIP assays to confirm the viability, identity, and the potency of the cells on the membrane. The Macy implant can be customized to the shape and size of your patient's defect before implanting it into the debrided area. The free chondrocytes detach from the collagen membrane and begin to migrate to the surface of the subchondral bone, where they begin doing what they are genetically programmed to do, synthesize matrix proteins that are the basis of articular cartilage. Over time, the proteins will integrate with the bone and adjacent host cartilage. The matrix matures, filling the cartilage defect with a durable repair tissue that has elements and qualities consistent with your patient's native articular cartilage. Throughout the cartilage maturation process, your patient will begin a prescribed rehabilitation program. Patients can begin to experience restored function and less pain, allowing them to return to their active lifestyle. Indication for use. Macy, autologous cultured chondrocytes on porcine collagen membrane, is an autologous cellularized scaffold product that is indicated for the repair of single or multiple symptomatic full thickness cartilage defects of the adult knee with or without bone involvement. Macy is intended for autologous use and must only be administered to the patient for whom it was manufactured. The implantation of Macy is to be performed via an arthrotomy to the knee joint under sterile conditions. The amount of Macy administered is dependent upon the size, surface in centimeter squared, of the cartilage defect. The implantation membrane is trimmed by the treating surgeon to the size and shape of the defect to ensure the damaged area is completely covered and implanted cell side down. Limitations of use. Effectiveness of Macy in joints other than the knee has not been established. Safety and effectiveness of Macy in patients over the age of 55 years have not been established. Important safety information. Macy is contraindicated in patients with a known history of hypersensitivity to gentamicin, other amino glycosides, or products of porcine or bovine origin. Macy is also contraindicated for patients with severe osteoarthritis of the knee, inflammatory arthritis, inflammatory joint disease, or uncorrected congenital blood coagulation disorders. Macy is also not indicated for use in patients who have undergone prior knee surgery in the past six months, excluding surgery to procure a biopsy or a concomitant procedure to prepare the knee for a Macy implant. Macy is contraindicated in patients who are unable to follow a physician-prescribed post-surgical rehabilitation program. The safety of Macy in patients with malignancy in the area of cartilage biopsy or implant is unknown. Expansion of present malignant or dysplastic cells during the culturing process or implantation is possible. Patients undergoing procedures associated with Macy are not routinely tested for transmissible infectious diseases. 
A cartilage biopsy and Macy implant may carry the risk of transmitting infectious diseases to healthcare providers handling the tissue. Universal precautions should be employed when handling the biopsy samples and the Macy product. Final sterility test results are not available at the time of shipping. In the case of positive sterility results, healthcare provider or providers will be contacted. To create a favorable environment for healing, concomitant pathologies that include meniscal pathology, cruciate ligament instability, and joint misalignment must be addressed prior to or concurrent with the implantation of Macy. Local treatment guidelines regarding the use of thromboprophylaxis and antibiotic prophylaxis around orthopedic surgery should be followed. Use in patients with local inflammations or active infections in the bone, joint and surrounding soft tissue should be temporarily deferred until documented recovery. The Macy implant is not recommended during pregnancy. For implantations post-pregnancy, the safety of breastfeeding to infant has not been determined. Use of Macy in pediatric patients younger than 18 years of age or patients over 65 years of age has not been established. The most frequently occurring adverse reactions reported for Macy greater than 5% were arthralgia, tendonitis, back pain, joint swelling and joint effusion. Serious adverse reactions reported for Macy were arthralgia, cartilage injury, meniscus injury, treatment failure and osteoarthritis. For more information or to view full prescribing information, please go to macy.com.